everybody, it's Harry Box, the technical trader at techtrader.com. It's Tuesday, May the 2nd. These are the charts for the day. Tough day in Wall Street, but a good comeback in the afternoon, still closing lower on the day. We're going to have to see what uh, was cooking with the market because it is under a little bit of pressure. But there were some stocks doing great here. Let's take a look at a few of them. ATLX continues to press higher, and in the last three weeks, has gone from mid teens to mid 40s, a triple in just a, about three, three and a half weeks. It doesn't look done yet as it's still uh, accelerating maybe 50 and 55 type targets. Up next is Adamera. Uh, this was a swing when it popped out. We know this company well, and when it popped out on earnings, it was a strong report. I put a swing in at about 695. The stock today reached as high as 920. So far, so good. Target number one reached. Uh, target number two is just ahead. And it looks to me like eventually this might get up into the, let's call it 12 range. AVDL, also another biotech, and, and this uh, has been moving really nicely of lately. Remember this one, two, three, four, five way move, followed by this pullback, and then a uh, following one, two, three, four, five way move. Well, I'm not sure this is done yet, but certainly in the last three days, it has a strong surge from 990 to 13.95 and finished at 13.20 today. A big gain of $1.47, 12.5% of 48 million. Good buy for that stock. If we can get through here, there's some big resistance here going way back. This could run into the 20s, you know, mid, low to mid 20s or more. CLSK, as the um, Bitcoin and crypto stocks did well today, uh, CLSK snapped back, going from uh, 333 to 390 and finishing at 379, uh, up about 37 cents or about 11 11%. But it looks to me like it may have reversed here. And uh, we're going to look for the next leg to retest the high up around five. GRTX popped out of the base today and maybe headed towards secondary and third targets of 390 and 490 to 5. Coming out of that base, a thrust to resistance today. IMTX exploded 747 to 1037, finished 959 of 227, 31% gain, 5.5 million, which is the biggest volume we've seen all year, well, not all year, for years, if not the biggest volume since the IPO. Anyway, big volume for that stock. Came through the decline top sign, and you could draw an inverse head and shoulders here, left shoulder, head, right shoulder, and breakout. So at this point, I'm looking for either a pullback retest setup or it's to follow through to get it up to 11 and three quarters, 12 for starters, secondary target, 13 and a half, three quarters. Lithium, big engulfing reversal day, taking it from 2023 to 2375, finishing 2290 up 202 or 9.7%. Looks to me like it's, and it's closed above the 50-day moving average and declining top line. So for me, I'm looking for an extension to run up to 27, 28 zone. And the RV exploded, pulled back, had an inside day. We put a swing on this one. I like the overall look. I'm looking for a move to eight and a half and eventually 13, 14. Nanox, one of my old favorites, exploded on big earnings report, FDA approval, I should say, sorry, uh, their, of their product, which is huge news. That was yesterday. Today, it followed too nicely after dipping 9.53. It ran up to 11.55, finished 11.20, up 91 cents and 9% gain, 9,200,000 traded. I think it's going to get to resistance at 12 and go right to that 14.15 zone. That's next. Nugget, gold may have recovered today and it may be a more uh, important recovery, but we'll see. Um, the two and a half, three week declining uh, channel or flag popped out today as it moved from 44 to 47.85, finishing right at the high, up 3.74. An eight and a half percent gain. Now I'm looking for a retest of this high short term at 51.85, four points. And then we'll look for 60. Riot, another of the crypto related stocks, has been in a beautiful rising channel, pulled back and, and held support today and almost had an engulfing bar. As a matter of fact, it was slightly engulfing. More importantly, finished up 115 or 11%, 23 million traded. If I can get this one up above 12.10 as early as tomorrow, I'd be looking for 14 and three quarters and then 17. SFM at Sprouts, beautiful one, two, three, four, and that fifth wave may have started today or finished, we can't tell yet. Lateral resistance from the channel top and lateral resistance from prior highs a long time ago says that this zone is resistance in the 4041 zone. And should it take that out, we might see mid 40s. Uber, but the big report as well, exploded. And now it's gone from the last four days low 29.22 to today's high at 36.63, seven and a half point rent run. So it's 36.27, near the high, up 353. 11% gain, 
110 million shares in Uber today. Dude, just huge. I mean, I don't recall ever seeing that much volume. So this could be a breakout day. And I'm looking for 39 and a half. And finally, Zixi, one of our all favorites, had a big day yesterday. Nice follow through today. Uh, 1276 to 1449. That's a new uh, three month high. And it finished at 1406, up 72 cents, five and a half percent gain. His volume was solid for that stock at 587,000. Now, Resistance just ahead at about 14 and a half, three quarters. We get to that. 17 is your next target. And that's it for the techtrader.com trust of the day video.